people. Have you not seen enough? Into the summer league lineup tonight is not so a filthy dunk getting them on their feet here. Do you not believe that the future is on its way? Collins, nice feed. Better blocked by Mitchell. Georgia. Do you not see that right in front of our eyes we're looking at the future culminating? Getting knocked over. Pummeled seemingly by Robinson. Turnaround from Nilakina. We might not go the full route with the youth movement, but with what we have right now, we have enough to bring players to want to play for our team. So when these free agents want to come through, they actually got to be able to come here and make it work. Because now we're not going to be a pushover Knicks team in a few years. Oh no, man. This is the beginning. I know it's Summer League. I know I'm going to get some comments talking about CK too, man. It's just something. Nah, man. What we're seeing right now is something that we have not seen in a long time. And I am beyond excited for the future let's get in this video what's good everybody it's your boy ck what's happening my knicks fam if you couldn't tell by my cold opening i am beyond hyped with what we got right now with this new york knicks squad we have finally done something that i have been begging and praying for for years after year after year we finally have a young core that we're growing up from i remember watching these lakers teams like when they drafted d -Lo, and then they drafted brandon ingram and they had larry nance and they were a team with a bunch of young dudes with potential and here i am watching my new york knicks and we got the likes of old man carmel anthony we had just brought in derrick Rowe. like we were not handling situations we we're not growing the right way and seeing where we are today i am beyond excited yes the knicks lost the last few games <laughs> Yes, the Knicks are out of contention for the actual Summer League Championship, but that does not matter. What we have seen from the players that we have right now is more than any Summer League victory could ever give us. I am so sorry if I'm too hyped up for y'all right now, but what I'm seeing from my team right now is so exciting. So before we pop off in this video, much love to all you guys. We are on our way to 5,000 subscribers. Y'all are killing it. Like I said, summer goal was 5,000 and summer just started. Y'all about to break that so with the bottom of my heart appreciate you guys also you guys have been hitting up that store man like I, I was expecting like a few people to go check it out no a lot of you guys even like shirts and stickers like the small things like i that is more than appreciated like i said these designs are up for a limited time right now because i want to have other better designs and cooler designs up but instead of throwing these ones away i thought why not put it out there and have them for a limited time and have you guys who you know who are the og ck2k fans when we down the line like years down the line and i see y'all with the new york knock shirt i'm gonna know you was an og so pick them up when you guys can and i appreciate you guys for, like I'm, I'm serious y'all been killing it with that all right so if you haven't checked it out go check it out description below go hit up the merch store pick up one of your two designs again other designs are coming but these are what we got for right now appreciate your support for those who have already picked it up i've been seeing the tweets i've been seeing the ig dms y'all been killing it appreciate you now let's get into what we've been seeing so far I, I have been getting comments all last video in Twitter on my DMs and IG. If you're not following me on both, go hit me up on my my Twitter and IG. I've been getting hit up asking my opinion on these cats now after the draft. But now the preseason, uh, oh my God, the summer league has come through and we have a, a, a consolation game tonight against the Pelicans. But we're going to break down my thoughts on the players who are going to be on the roster, whether it is our New York Knicks roster or our Westchester Knicks roster because this is what the people have been wanting and i'm a man of the people and i'm gonna give the people what the people want so let's break it down and let's start with the players that are coming back so here's my thoughts on damian dodson isaiah hicks and luke cornett now luke cornett has been he missed the entire summer league up until this past game against the boston celtics and he instantly made an impact the first thing that flew off the shelf for me that I saw was him starting at the four alongside Mitchell Robinson. I um, I damn near cried of excitement. If we can mold Luke Cornett to be a, a mini KP, which is very weird to say because they're both seven feet or above. If we can mold him to be a KP type player in the sense where he will be, you know, in the paint doing what he has to do, but getting buckets outside, playing the four, guarding the four position and able to keep up with these fours in the league. <sighs> Gosh, we are going to be insane on the court defensively and offense. I 
uh the excitement he did get hurt again towards the end of the game but that's fine because he gave me everything i need to see in that game and i'm very proud to say that i think if we can get him to play the four more i'm all about it so then we come back to isaiah hicks and damian dodson and uh, frank neely as a lot of you guys know did not play but he's had he's shown enough in my opinion i feel like he's shown enough we saw aggressive frank uh game two and we saw a very very controlled frank in game one and in game two so i feel like we've seen enough sample size of frank neely that we need to see up until training camp so i am very pleased and very happy with what he gave us so back to damian dodson damian dodson has been mia this entire summer league now not entirely because he did he's been doing a lot of the small things that not a lot of people talk about but also at the same time we're accustomed to damian dodson like when i'm talking about like damian dodson is a killer from above from above the yard my man was a uh, kitten shot so easily last season he ended the season with that 30 and 11 game so a lot of people were expecting him to have a breakout um kind of uh summer league but he really toppled over a little bit which i'm okay with because the main thing for him is he was a defensive player first he's a three and d kind of guy before he turned into who he is he might have digressed a little bit but the de defense is where it's supposed to be and the rest will come where does damian dawson in my opinion lie in this roster he's probably going to stay on the roster in the beginning of the season but at some point probably get brought back down to the westchester knicks because he's not completely ready yet in my opinion but he has the potential to do something for us especially since this year is going to be all about opportunity because with the roster we have built right now it's very young and it's a toss-up to see what we're going to do even in the east and then my guy the crowd favorite who could possibly take it over the spot of <laughs> Michael Beasley next season, the crowd favorite, Mr. Troy Williams. Troy Williams, he does a lot of JR things to me. Now, th th let me explain. Huh. We were playing great defense. It was towards the end of the game. We were on a slight little comeback, and we ran the clock down, and it came to a point where I can't remember what Celtics player it was. Pump faked. Instead of just, because he didn't jump, he didn't bite. Instead of just letting him do it and let him take a shot, he reached in, gave him a foul, and gave him three free throws in which he ended up making all of them. So this is where I'm talking about the J.R. Smith. He did that thing. Everyone's like, what are you doing, Troy Williams? How could you do that? Whoa, rah, 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 rah. And then on the very following play, my man goes straight to the hoop, gets a great pass. He gets fouled, gets an and one, makes the free throw. And just like that, those three points are given right back. Those are J.R. Smith things. Like when you make a mistake on one end and you make up for it on the offensive end. I love Troy Williams. I, I like what he's turned it into. He's very athletic. He's very, very capable of doing a lot of things defensively and offensively not only just around the rim but like shooting wise we've seen his shot hitting a few times here in the summer league and he got a two-way contract with the knicks last year and they're developing him at such a now before i get into our rookies you know we have a bunch of other fillers is what i call them on the summer league and not none of them really stood out to me daniel ochefu was probably the biggest highlight of any of these fillers that we've had but other than that like Jawan Howard Jr. I, I was really disappointed in. I thought he was going to be a lot better than what he was seeing what he did, you know, in college. So I now to our rookies. I'm breaking down our rookies. I'm going to start with Alonzo Trier. I want to openly apologize to Al Now, in my last video, I ripped him apart. Not only did he have 21 points in uh, the game against the Lakers with what 10 11 rebounds he then turned around and gave us 17 points today with what four assists and four boards alonzo has shown from the game one where he was first testing out the point guard role to this past game against the celtics that he really was put in the work and it really has the potential to be a ball handling guard if necessary now with our team we have so many ball handling guards like emmanuel moutier trey burke frank neal Aquino. We, we're, we're, we're stacked on the point guard position but for a long Alonzo to be the size that he is and to be working on ball handling, it can only be a positive for the future when he is possibly brought up from the Westchester Knicks and put on the roster where he has the ability to handle the ball as well as be an assassin. Iso Zo is what we've been calling him. Now we gotta talk about oh man. I've been calling him baby Camby because <clears throat> right now he has that frame and he reminds me of Marcus Camby, but I feel like he can be a lot more than what Marcus Camby was, and that's saying a lot because Marcus Camby was a stud. But mid Mitchell Robinson. Mind you, ladies and gentlemen, we picked up Mitchell Robinson in the second round. Mitchell Robinson is just this. I don't know how to explain it. He is like Play-Doh that is ready to just be turned into the final form, the final player that he is because he is so talented, so athletically gifted. The potential is just through the roof with this kid. And like, 
again, just like what I said with Alonzo Trier, from game one to this past game against the Celtics, he improved every single game. And his instincts are insane. For a second rounder, his instincts are insane. For someone who hasn't played five on five ball for what, 15 months, his instincts are insane. Now I know everybody is raving about this guy. And the, the thing is, I genuinely watch these things for, 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 more you know negatives than positives so i could give you some other negatives but it's so hard for me to not rave about this guy and of course getting his timing and getting his speed to the game back those things are going to be the things he has to work on but there's just too much upside for you to focus on any negatives with this kid not saying there aren't any it's just so, so pleasant to see and once again i'm gonna say it till all to the end of my days thank you los angeles lakers for passing up on mitchell robinson and now i talk about my guy in rhythm, knocks, knocks it down. I end this video talking about the guy I clapped for. The New York Knicks select Kevin Knox. There you go. <laughs> Kevin Knox has a lot of work to do, but with what we're seeing right now with this raw ability, this raw talent, it's exciting. Finds Knox down to the key. Through the defense and the stuff. Kevin Knox. The beginning of this video was 100% real. Those were raw emotions because I am genuinely excited for what's to come. Like, I'm just thinking about the possibilities of having Frank Nielakina at point guard, uh, Noxy at three. We got KP at four. Just that alone, the length that we have. Maybe in the future, we see Mitchell Robinson turning into a starter. So we got him starting alongside KP. Hell, we could even start Cornette alongside KP for a little bit. Fizdale has got me on the same wavelength that I'm starting to develop a huge crush for length as well. And just seeing the possibilities, and, uh, I'm just so excited. I'm so, so, so thankful that we're finally in a spot where we're growing from within. Kevin Knox has been beyond, and I mean beyond a blessing in disguise for this team. The Knicks organization, the Knicks front office is doing something that I haven't been able to say in a long time. And that is they're making solid judgment calls now what i loved seeing about you know the knicks the bulls the lakers in these last few years is with the management shifts and the management changes these teams are finally doing things the right way and we have not been able to say that in a long time and it's really 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 soothing and nice to see kevin knox is going to be is going to be a stud so with that, I, I, I know this video is probably going on too long. I've said so much. I probably haven't even said enough. I, I didn't even go into the detail I wanted to get into because I was just so emotional, so excited. So to be able to see this now and see us grow and see us turn into a, a, a team from within um, and then possibly be a spot for some of these guys that I, you know, talk about like Kyle uh, Kyrie Irving and, and Jimmy Butler. It's just really cool to see and I'm really excited. You know, Kevin Knox is going to be a star. He's going to be a star and we don't know what Mitchell Robinson is going to be, but it's going to be something great. It's going to be great times, man. And again, appreciate you guys so much for joining the ride. Um, let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see coming out we, because of you guys and because of you, um, your your support. Uh, the success of this channel is, be, is becoming beyond what I can ever hope to be. So I'm hoping that when this next season begins, I'll be damn near doing content every day, if not every other day, but as much content on this channel for you guys and for us, you know, to communicate on as possible. And I'm looking forward to that. All right. This is basically just an update video. Um, I just wanted to, you know, say what's up to you guys. You know, the season officially ended yesterday, Um, like officially, officially ended. Now we're just, you know, in free agency and we pretty much don't have any other spots anyway. So unless there's some trades that happen, uh, you'll hear it from me when it happens. Be sure, be sure, be sure you guys are following me on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. Um, I know I'm not posting as much on Instagram, but I'm working on the IGTV and doing more lives, doing more stuff on Instagram. But I am very live on Twitter. Like a lot of you guys are already over there following your boy on Twitter, and I'm very live. I'm talking my mind out when it comes to the Knicks and just basketball in general. And you guys have been really cool with that. So again, if you haven't already, go check out the merch. Limited time only, but you better believe that by the time this new season begins, those 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 two designs are gonna be gone. So get yours now. You know, show it off and show that you're an OG. 
OG uh, supporter of me. Um, and again, appreciate you guys so much. Again, let me know in the comments below what you want to see me do during the summer while we wait for the Knicks to hit the hardwood one more time. All right. I love y'all, man. Much appreciated. Again, you guys have been you guys been supporting your boy, and I appreciate you to no end. Much love, y'all. Catch you in the next video. We out of here. It's good to be a Knicks fan. Say go, New York. Go, New York. Go. You know, we should probably remix that song. All right, I'm talking too much. Let's get out of here. We out.